Oil prices plummeted on Friday after major producers failed to reach an agreement to reduce production, as concerns about coronavirus's impact on the economy spread across the globe. The meeting was supposed to reflect Saudi Arabia's deft management of an oversupply of oil on world markets. But Russia's unwillingness to go along with a take-it-or-leave-it offer threatens to unleash a gusher of oil on world markets, good news in the short term for consumers, with severe financial costs for the industry. Brent crude fell by more than 9%, as low as $45.18 a barrel, a two-and-a-half-year low. West Texas Intermediate Crude, the U.S. benchmark, was as low as $41.11 a barrel. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries and other producers, including Russia, were trying to steady prices by reducing output beyond cuts that were already approved. That the oil powers struggled to reach an agreement during the meetings, which were in their third day on Friday. The producers failed to agree on proposed new cuts of 1.5 million barrels a day. In addition, they did not sign off on an extension of an existing production agreement covering a total of around 2.1 million barrels a day that expires at the end of March. For OPEC, that creates the risk of additional oil in an already oversupplied market. The messy ending of the meetings at OPEC's headquarters in Vienna, risks sending oil prices into a free fall, said Bjorner Tonhaugen, head of oil market research at Rystad Energy, a market research firm. The lack of a deal could also signal the end of the three-year alliance between Saudi Arabia, OPEC's de facto leader, and Russia, which has helped prop up prices. In the meeting, the Saudis appeared to gamble that they could strong-arm Russia, and lost spectacularly. Finding humor and humanity in Canada's oil fields. Big mouths about big debt. At 75, the father of environmental justice meets the moment on Thursday, the OPEC countries put Russia on the spot by proposing to further reduce output by 1.5 million barrels a day, or about 1.5% of world supply. Moscow has been reluctant to go along with Saudi initiatives for new cuts. The move only seemed to increase the resistance of Russia's president, Vladimir V Putin. We have just witnessed the perils of backing Putin into a corner, said Helima Croft, analyst at RBC Capital Markets, an investment bank. Russian officials have said that more time was needed to evaluate the impact of the epidemic. Russia's petroleum industry, also, is dominated by publicly traded companies that are reluctant to trim back production. Still, why Moscow would want prices to fall is something of a mystery. Russia may believe that the downturn will only be temporary, Ms. Croft said, but it has seemingly risked torching the alliance with OPEC on that assumption. On the Saudi side, there was frustration with Russia's foot dragging and relatively slim contributions to cuts. Since the alliance was formed, the Saudis have absorbed the bulk of the cuts. The sudden drop in demand for oil caused by the coronavirus epidemic, as factories shut down, people drive less and airlines cancel flights, seems to have brought the alliance to a moment of reckoning, said Bushan Bari, a senior director IHS Market, a research firm. For traders, the tensions bring back memories of an OPEC meeting in late 2014 when the Saudis, unable to persuade Russia to sign on to cuts, temporarily threw in the towel on managing the market. Prices wound up falling below $30 a barrel. The price for Brent crude has now fallen around 30% this year. This plunge will have a wide range of implications, including lower earnings for oil companies, whose financial performance is closely tied to oil prices. The share price of ExxonMobil was down about 3.5% on Friday. Lower prices are also likely to slow the economies the countries around the world that rely on oil revenue to finance their governments, from Algeria and Iraq to Russia and Kazakhstan. There will be less money for social programs, risking political unrest. A price drop will cut into the profits of Saudi Aramco, the Saudi national oil company which was listed on the Riyadh Stock Exchange last year. Late last year, an increase in gasoline prices by the strapped Iranian government set off a wave of protests that were brutally suppressed by the security forces, who killed scores of demonstrators and detained thousands. For the American economy, lower prices will be a mixed blessing. Consumers are likely to benefit from lower prices for gasoline and other oil products, but shale oil producers in the United States may slow investment in drilling and lay off workers. Scott Sheffield, chief executive of Pioneer Natural Resources, one of the biggest Texas oil producers, said there was no immediate impact yet on production activities in the Permian Basin, the biggest shale field. But, he added, I have not seen any reasons why Russia would not agree except to put U.S. shale under. U.S. production will turn down now and help OPEC. While the standoff between the two oil powers continued, oil swelled, threatening a lasting glut, analysts say.
We are extremely oversupplied with crude in the world, said Sama Ahmed, an analyst at Kepler, a firm that tracks petroleum flows. Moscow, London, Dubai, July 15, Reuters, Saudi Arabia, the world's largest oil exporter, more than doubled the amount of Russian fuel oil it imported in the second quarter to feed power stations to meet summer cooling demand and free up the kingdom's own crude for export, data showed and traders said. Russia has been selling fuel at discounted prices after international sanctions over its invasion of Ukraine left it with fewer buyers. Moscow calls the war in Ukraine a special military operation. The increased sales of fuel oil, used in power generation, to Saudi Arabia show the challenge that US President Joe Biden faces as his administration seeks to isolate Russia and cut its energy export revenues. While many countries have banned or discouraged purchases from Russia, China, India and several African and Middle Eastern nations have increased imports. There is little spare capacity for Saudi and others to increase production in the short term. Saudi Arabia has also maintained its cooperation with Russia in the alliance of global producers known as OPEC+. The two are the de facto leaders of respectively OPEC and non-OPEC producers in that group. Data obtained by Reuters through Refinitiv Icon ship tracking showed Saudi Arabia imported 647,000 tons, 48,000 barrels per day, of fuel oil from Russia via Russian and Estonian ports in April to June this year. That was up from 320,000 tons in the same period a year ago. For the full year 2021, Saudi Arabia imported 1.05 million tons of Russian fuel oil. Saudi Arabian and Russian energy ministries declined to comment on the increased imports. Energy analytics firm Vortexa found rising flows of Russian origin fuel oil cargoes through Egypt and Estonia boosted imports, Vortexa said. It found Saudi fuel imports from Egypt spiked to a record 110,000 barrels of oil per day in June as Egypt's imports of Russian fuel oil jumped to a record 70,000 barrels of oil per day in the same month. Seasonal demand for power generation feedstocks pushed fuel oil imports into Saudi Arabia to 320,000 barrels per day in June, the highest since November 2020, the firm said. Saudi Arabia has for several years imported Russian fuel oil, which can reduce its need to refine crude for products and cut the amount of oil it needs to burn for power, leaving it with more unrefined crude to sell on international markets at higher prices. The kingdom turns to oil to meet power needs, which typically peak as demand for cooling rises with summer temperatures. Some Saudi cities are far from natural gas fields that could provide cleaner fuel for power generation. The volume of crude burnt is about 600,000 barrels of oil per day in summer months and 300,000 barrels of oil per day in winter months, figures from the Joint Organization's data initiative, Jody, show. Increased use of natural gas has reduced the amount from as much as 1 million barrel of oil per day in 2010. Hub in Fujairah. Saudi Arabia has also imported more Russian fuel oil via the Middle East oil hub of Fujairah in the United Arab Emirates, traders said. Fujairah has received 1.17 million tons of Russian fuel oil so far this year, according to ship tracking, compared with 0.9 million in the same period last year. An extra 0.9 million could be delivered to Fujairah in July alone, according to ship tracking, bringing the total to 2.1 million so far this year, exceeding the 1.64 million tons for the whole of 2021.